What is going on USA Card Lovers? Welcome back here to another episode of USA Card Talk. My name is Damien and if you're new to the channel here at USA Card Talk, we like to talk about everything UFC cards from collecting to investing and also recent UFC card hobby news. This week's episode, I am back with another card pricing slash value video. We are going to be going over to the card ladder platform and I want to check out the results from UFC 290. Obviously, that was one week ago now to this day. And I want to go over checking out the card values from who I think are the three biggest winners after that event. First one being Bo Nickel, then Dracus Duplessis, and then leading into the pound for pound number one, Alexander Volkanovsky. We're going to be going over those guys pricing from the week leading into the fight to the aftermath, to the week after the fight and checking over all the selling platforms to see where their pricing was at leading into the event and what happened to their pricing after the event. If you are new to this channel and you are a fan of UFC cards, then I can recommend for you to subscribe to this channel. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button and then of course, while you're hitting buttons, hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on my weekly UFC card related content. Let's get to the video. So if you guys do not know who Bo Nickel is by this chance, by this stage, he is, you must be pretty new to the hobby, but that is okay. Bo Nickel is very fast becoming the absolute hobby darling, especially of the 2023 product. He is a rookie in this year's product. His rookie cards at the moment are without a doubt some of the highest selling cards from the 2023 Panini products. So let's check out to see where his pricing was at a week leading into the big event, UFC 290, and to the aftermath. Just keep in mind that Bo Nickel had an amazing performance on that card. He was the first fight on the pay-per-view card, and he won within 40 seconds or something, knocking out his opponent in very flashy style. Surprise, mother... So that's going to be interesting to see where his pricing was at after a pretty impressive win from this year's biggest rookie. So we can see here starting off with his silver prism, a raw version, $21.50, June 26. We also have that blue wave. The first year we've had blue wave for Panini UFC prism. That one, June 26, selling for $41. We have a copy of his blue prism here. His, his rookie blue prism, they are numbered to 175. That one selling June 28th at auction on eBay for $90. And we have another copy there, another copy of his Blue Prism, June 30 now. That one's selling for a decent amount more, $130 on eBay as well. That was a fixed price. We have a copy of his Silver Prism, SGC graded 10, Gem Mint, July 2nd. That one's selling for $140. So an interesting note there, we've already seen the Base Prism selling for $21.50, while SGC 10 selling for $140. We have found here a copy of his orange prism. They are numbered to 99. This one selling July 7th for $250 best offer on eBay. We also have a copy of his red prism numbered to 199 July 9th. Whether this was before or after the event, I do not know, but that one's selling for $180. Keep in mind the event UFC 290 was on July 9th. All right, here's a good one. We have a copy of his premium box prism number to 99 this one was a psa 10 selling for 487 dollars 50 july 9th i would have to imagine that one possibly sold after the event we also have a copy of his base prism this one not a silver just a base psa 10 selling for 90 dollars july 9th and here we go, we have a copy once again of his blue prism. Saying it's numbered to 75 here, that is incorrect. These are numbered to 175. That one's selling for $165.50 on July 9th. So quite a little bit of an uptick from what we saw before the event. We have a copy of the PSA 10 for his blue wave prism selling for 249, 250 to be precise, July 9th. So we have a copy of his silver prism it's a psa 10 225 dollars july 10th best offer on ebay so he went from the sgc silver selling before the event for 140 dollars for now for the psa 10 selling for 225 dollars after the event <laughs> yeah boy here we go here's a big sale guys we have a copy of his 
Teal Prism, they are number 49, it's a PSA 10, claiming to be a pop one, meaning there is only a population of one card of this specific card, selling for $1,100 July 10th, a day after the event. We have another copy of his Silver Prism, PSA 10, this one's selling July 11th for $265. So that is another $40 increase from the day before. We have the Hyper Prism in a PSA 10. That one's selling for $180. Or well, that Ruby Wave PSA 9 selling for $75 July 12th. So let me know what you guys think. Is Bo Nickel the hype machine that he's proving to be? And are we seeing a little bit of too high a value? Or are his cards priced correctly? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. So we'll move on to the second fighter who I think benefited the most after UFC 290. That is the middleweight Dracus Duplessis. It looks like he will be fighting next for the title against the very popular Israel Adesanya. Let's see where his prices were at a week leading into the event. Obviously he had that very shock win beating Robert Whittaker. I didn't think that was gonna happen and I'm sure a lot of other people didn't think it was going to either. But after he won the fight, Pretty much was announced that he will be fighting Israel Adesanya next. Let's see what happened to his pricing after the event. So we have his premium box prism from 2023, $6.50 June 26. We have his teal PSA 9 prism, $70. That is his rookie from 2022. We've got the Concourse Tiger from 2022 Select, PSA 9, $89 June 30. We've got his orange prism, rookie prism, number to 99, $30 July 2nd. We've got his blue rookie prism selling for $20.50 July 3rd, while a PSA 10 of that version selling for $60 July 3rd also. We have a copy of his prism gold, his rookie prism numbered to 10, $286 July 3rd. Another copy of his blue prism, $20 July 4th. So we are getting a few days. We're getting into fight week now, guys. We have another copy of his Pandora, the premium box set 2023 Prism, $3.60. So staying pretty consistent with that first purchase. We have his tie-dye from 2022 Select, number 25, $160 July 7th. We have his 2022, it's a Select Concourse Gold, PSA 9, selling for $200 July 9th. So we are now on fight day. So whether this purchase was before or after the event, I cannot say. So interesting to note guys, we didn't have a lot of sales before the event. Maybe 20, 20 odd sales. And we have a copy now of that premium box Pandora from 2023 Prism. This one's selling for $12.75 July 9th. That doesn't sound like much, but that is roughly 3x on what it was selling before the event. We got his Octagon Side Blue Disco, PSA 10, selling for $135. Well, his Red Prism PSA 10 selling for $80. Guys, we are seeing a lot of sales here on July 9th. So I'm assuming these are all after the event. We have that Concourse Gold Prism. This one selling for $200 July 9th. And we once again have that Tie-Dye Prism. $150 July 9th on eBay. We have the Tie-Dye Mezzanine from Select. PSA 9, $123.50. We've got that... Rookie Blue Prism here again, selling for $44 July 12th. Well, on July 14th, that Rookie Blue Prism was selling for $50. We, so we saw a lot of increase in sale, guys. As I said, there was about 20 sales leading into the, the week leading into the event, while the week after the event for Dracus Duplessis, we saw, we can see a total of 133 sales. So there was roughly 113 sales the, after the week after UFC 290 while comparing only 20 sales leading into the event. So a lot of people moving in into Dreykus's cards after the event. We'll move on now to the winner of the co-main event and that is Alexandra, Alexandra Pantoja. Fantastic fight, fantastic performance. Close, close fight, but I did think the right man won. Let's see what happened to his prices leading into the event and then after he did win that UFC title. So we got his Mojo Prism here from 2023. $21.50 June 28th. Well, his Select Disco Green, number to five, 2022. This one's selling for $26 June 28th. Well, we have his 2022, it's a Select 
Concourse Gold, $70, June 29th. What do you got is Octagon Prism from 2023, $46.50 July 7th. Well, it's 2022 Red Prism, numbered to $2.99, selling for $3.34 on fight day. We've got the Black Velocity PSA 10. They are numbered from they are numbered to 39 from 2022 Optic, $107.35 at auction. While a raw copy of that card is selling for $30. So once again, guys, leading into fight day, we only saw about 15 sales for Alexander Pantoja. While I can only assume that number will significantly grow after the event. We have his Blue Shimmer, number 10 from 2023 Prism, $64. Well, we have a copy of his rookie card, and it's not any copy of the rookie card. It's the Ruby from 2020 Tops. $150. Uh, while the base of the 2020 Tops Knockout selling for $7.50, we have his Lime Green, number 75 from 2021 Prism. These are cool cards. $34 July 9th as well. We've got the Orange from 2021 Prism, $15.50. We've got the, the Green Parallel from the 2020 Knockout. They are numbered in 88, $25. The blue variant of that card, number 75, $20.50. It's interesting enough to know the blue parallel numbered less than the green, but actually selling for a little bit less. We have his gold prism from 2023. That one's selling for $107. We've got that black velocity again, $25 July 9th, selling raw. So there we have it, guys. We saw a total of 15 sales for Alexander Pantoja leading into the event. And the week after the event, we saw a total of 37 sales. So a double, a little bit over twice the sales once he did gain that UFC title. We will move on now to the star of the event, the current UFC pound for pound number one fighter, featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky. Let's check out his prices a week before UFC 290 and then after the event. Got his purple prism, started off 2021 Panini prism, $10, June 26. We have the Champions Auto from 2022 prism. This is green, not numbered, $40.88, June 26 also. We got the Jumbo Relic, the Immaculate 2022. This one, the glove, numbered to eight, $370, June 27th. A couple of optic products here from 2022. The AKA PSA 9, $7.50, while the red from Optic, number to $199, $25, June 28th. That one also, that one being a PSA 10. We've got the Acetate from 2022 Panini Immaculate with the Patch Auto, $400. Those ones numbered to 6, 20, June, June 28th. We've got the Panini Instant, first year of Panini Instant, 2021. This one, a one of one, the black variant, selling for $400, June 28th. We've got the Teal 2021 Prism, PSA 9, number to 49, $55, June 29th. We've got a copy of his 2019 Tops Knockout Rookie. That one's a PSA 9, selling for $38. I can't see, actually, if... I can't quite see if that is a base or a refractor, but we'll say it's a base. We have a copy, a raw copy. That one is a refractor, $46 July 4th. We've got his lucky envelopes from 2021. Select, debut year of select. It's an SGC 9.5, $220 July 6th. With a white sparkle from 2021 Prism, $220. That one being a PSA 9 also. We've got the Mojo from 2021 Prism. This one a PSA 9, $180 July 6. We have the Chronicles Asian Gold, numbered to eight, $200. That one looks like it's graded with HGA. With the global icons, the gold numbered to 10, SGC 10. That one's selling for $600 July 7th, 2021 select. We have Champion Signatures from 2022 Prism. Again, this one a PSA 10, $120 July 7th. We have a copy of his 
2019 tops knockout PSA 10 saying it's a pop 23 $245 July 8th so this is the leading into fight day we've got the jumbo venom walkout patch one of one $620 July 8th so leading into the fight we saw a mass of 2021 prism and also 2022 immaculate selling for Alexander Volkanovsky let's see what happened after the fight so we have a copy of that 2019 tops knockout green number 149 70 dollars july 9th while a refractor copy of that both of those raw selling for 60 dollars bit of an uptick there in price we have another refractor selling for 55 dollars we've got the 2022 premier level gold psa 9 selling for 89 dollars 88 july 9th what's doing there that's quite cheap while his auto from 2022 select in the gold disco mezzanine graded uh, the cards are seven the auto is a 10 $250 now we have a PSA 10 of his 2019 tops knockout $350 another refractor of his rookie card $70 now we're seeing quite a price increase for that rookie refractor after the event this one here selling for $50 again we have a copy again of that rookie refractor this one in the PSA 9 once again selling for $61 so the same card selling before the fight was $38 now we're seeing it sell for $61 after the event we've got that teal prism from 2021 out of 49 selling for $37.50 July 10th so that one selling in a PSA 9 before the event for $55. Now we're seeing a raw version sell for $37.50. So yeah, prices for Volkanovski are proving to be a little bit all over the place in general, but we definitely did see an uptick for that rookie refractor card of his. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video in comparison to the videos I was doing leading into the event, checking out the prices of the fighters leading into the event, this one actually took a lot more work on my end, obviously comparing prices before the event to after the event. I think I can actually see the value in that as a viewer for you guys and even for me, for my own knowledge. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again here next week at UFC Card Talk. <laughs>